Okay, now we're ready to install our FJ Freedom windows. So now that we've got our window off, you'll notice right here, the plastic protrudes a little bit farther past the metal. So what we need to do is we need to temporarily get that pushed back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the back door here. And when the door is open, you're gonna notice um, where your seatbelt attaches here, there's this plastic piece here on the top, there is a little push pin on there. We need to remove that push pin to start with. So we're gonna do is use our flathead screwdriver, and there's a little slot, a little groove right there. We're gonna slide our screwdriver in, and kind of wiggle it back and forth until we see that pop up. Once that's popped up, what we're gonna do now is grab it with our forefinger and our thumb, and we're gonna just pull that pin out so it stays intact. So once that pin is pulled out, I'm gonna set that over here for a minute. And now what we're gonna do is our goal is to pull, there's a couple push pins in here that are snap pins. Um, most uh, Toyotas and any vehicle have, have clips that hold these in. So what we wanna do is get that pulled back away. So now that that's pulled out, we're gonna put one hand over here to the left, one to the right, we're just gonna pop that, uh, that plastic piece off. So that's our... Okay, now that we have the gray piece of plastic pulled back, what we need to do is do the same thing to this black panel here towards the back. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this right here with both hands towards the back and just pop that back until we hear that, uh, that clip just pop back out. Now that we have that done, we're ready to go back around to the other side and start putting our window um, frame. Okay, now that we have our plastics pulled back, what we wanna do is we wanna put a towel in our door jam where our door is gonna latch. And the reason why we're gonna do that is so we can put pressure against the door. So what I'm gonna do is I got the towel in place. I've got the towel in place, I'm pushing the door closed. That way, it doesn't latch the door and cause the door to put the plastics forward until we get done with all the pressure we need to do from our drilling and putting on our... All right, now that we've got our plastics pushed back, we wanna rest the door closed. We do not want to latch it. If we latch it, it's gonna push everything back forward. So we just wanna rest it closed. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make sure that our surface area is pretty, pretty smooth. Um, it doesn't need to be perfectly smooth. We just wanna make sure that there's no uh, glue spots that are really protruding out. I do feel a little, a little spot right here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around to this side, I'm gonna take my razor blade, and what I'm gonna do is just kinda just go right along here and just get that, that little high spot off. There we go. Now, now, now we have a little bit more smooth of a surface here. So now that we've got this pretty smooth, our goal is now to put our template on. So what we have here is we have our window template. And as you can see, the FJ Cruiser, all FJ Cruisers come with four holes in them. There's two up top here, two down below. They're placed in the same spot on, an FJ, on any FJ Cruiser. So what our goal here is to use our template. If you see, our template has these same holes. So what you want to do is you want to line up those holes exactly to fit in the holes on the factory FJ. So now I've got this corner lined up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, one of my pieces of masking tape. I'm just going to take this right here, and then what I'm going to do is come to the right corner, make sure that that's lined up really nice and smooth there. I'm going to tape that there, grab another piece of tape, come down to this right side here, make sure I pull this nice and tight and look and measure it up, make sure that's lined up perfectly, I'm going to tape that there, and then I'm going to come to the last side here. Make sure that that is lined up, and I'm going to tape that there. So now that we have our template taped on, now what we can do is we can get ready to drill our holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the drill, I'm going to grab our um, marking tools, and we're going to measure this to make sure everything is lined up before we start drilling, and uh, we'll get right back to that. So let me grab my tools. Okay, now that we have our window template in, basically it's taped on. And very important, I'm gonna stress this, but we have to make sure that our holes that we have in our template match up exactly to the holes that are in the FJ from the factory. So now we're gonna do, now that we have that taped on, we're gonna use this leading edge right here on the door is our measure point. So we wanna measure from here to the center of our holes, and this, these are holes where our bracket's gonna be. So basically, I'm measuring here right now, I've got an inch and three eighths exactly to the center of that hole, inch and three eighths to the center of the second hole. Now there should be a slightly larger opening to the bottom one, inch and a half to the center of that hole, and an inch and a half to the center of that hole. So we know that we're lined up straight here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one more safety measure and we're gonna line up our window. Let me grab our window. 
got our freedom window. What we want to do is we want to take our hinge, we want to push it forward, that way it fits through the opening when we set it on there. And our goal now is to line up basically these bolts right here to these holes that we see right here, just visually through the glass, and make sure everything's sitting nice and smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this, I'm going to set this right in here. If I set this in here, I can actually see the holes underneath it. So I know that if I've got this here, and I've got this one here, that I'm lined up pretty darn good. So it gives you a visual of where you need to be. So I know that right now everything looks good, it looks plumb, it looks straight, and we can get ready to start drilling our holes and mounting mounting our uh, trim ring on there. So now what I'll do, I'm going to grab the drill, I'm going to grab the, uh, the punch, and in our case we're going to use a center punch on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our center punch, which I have right here, and our goal, what we want to do is we want to, center punches are pretty neat, basically you just push them in and it'll automatically punch in our case. So I see that we've got everything set up here, our holes are lined up, I'm going to put this right in the middle of where our hole is going to be on our hinge. So right in the middle of where our hole is going to be. I'm just going to push this and it's going to leave a nice little mark. You can either use this or you can use your marker. So what we're going to do, show you also with the marker, what we're going to do is I'm going to find on the second hole, the center of it, I'm just going to put a little dab for my marker. So either or, the center punch actually works better because it gives your drill bit a place to bite onto. Um, but if you don't have a center punch, you pick one up at Lowe's, you can always use a marker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing down on the bottom here. So I'm going to just push this in until it makes a mark. And down here, same thing, until it makes a mark. And then I'm going to go over to the back here where the back of our latch is going to be. Center there, and make sure that everything's nice and centered. Same thing there, and same thing there. So what we have now is we have an actual area where we're going to be drilling our holes. So now that we have that done, I'm going to get the drill motor, and we're going to drill some holes and get this trim ring on here. Okay, now we are ready to drill out our six holes for our template so we can get our trim ring on. You can leave our template on here because we purposely drilled the holes on our template a little bit bigger than the 964th drill bit that we're going to use. So what I'm going to do, safety goggles on, we don't want to get any metal shavings in our eyes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom here, I'm going to get lined up right in the center of my hole, and I'm going to just drill very carefully. second hole. What I'm going to do is I'll finish these six holes, I'll, I'll do the other four holes, and then I'll come back and we'll put our trim ring on.